Today, we're going to do a Costco haul and look at everything I got and talk about all I'm going to do with it. So, come along. Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I'm doing a Costco haul and we are going to take a look at and discuss everything I got and what I plan on doing with it. So, one of the things I did is I spent like 60, about $65 on meat. First thing I got here was their seasoned drumsticks with garlic seasoning. Oh, it looks and oh, 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 you can smell it. It smells so good. What I'm going to do with these is I'm going to put them in a roasting pan and cook them on the barbecue. Hopefully this time, well not hopefully, but this time I'll make sure that I don't burn them and ruin them. Ha ha ha. And then I will strip it all off the bones um, and can the meat so that I have um, little individual pint jars. I have been canning in pints lately instead of quarts. Um, if I need, you know, a quart or close to a quart, I just use two pints. Even though, yes, a quart is three pints, but two, quart, two pints works well instead of a full quart and I really enjoy having the smaller jars because the smaller jars make it so it's just one meal when I make my kids salads or um, quesadillas and things like that and then I don't have over half a quart left in my refrigerator that ends up getting pushed to the back ends up disappearing and the next thing you know I clean out my fridge and I'm throwing away several partial quarts of meat it's a waste, so I'm going to be canning in pints. And I'm going to, like I said, cook these all the way. And then strip all the meat off the bones. And then can the meat. And then I'll freeze the bones and put them in the freezer. And I'll save the bones. I've got several other packages of chicken bones in there. And then I'll make up bone broth when I've got enough bones from chickens to make bone broth. Next, I got hamburger um all i'm gonna do is bag it i'm not gonna can it i'm not gonna do anything with it um i've already got canned hamburger um i've already got flavored canned hamburger and i already have um pre-made burgers all done up in in my freezer so i'm just going to be packaging these into one pound packages and freezing them like they are for making um you know like spaghetti meals or hot dish meals or things like this um these are one of our favorite things from costco they're the pork tenderloins and they're the tuscan seasoning um i always split the package in half and make them up and make pork quote unquote pork steaks pork tenderloin steaks and I just make, I get two family meals out of a package. For me, $7 in meat for a nice big meal. I always have leftovers. It's great because there's always enough leftovers out of this for me to cut it up the next day and make wraps or salads for my children. And it works out perfect. Now with this big package of pork loin chops um thin cut um oh they're so beautiful and this fat on there is just gorgeous again with these i'm going to be cooking them cutting them and breaking them down and then canning them so that i have canned pork ready to go easy again sandwiches salads um soups if i'm making a quick soup for my kids just about anything. I love canning meat. It is one of my favorite things. I love having meat on my shelf. If I have anything less than 25, 30 jars of canned meat on my shelf, I feel like we're out. 
and we're going to starve. And I'm down to about 15 jars of canned meat, so pork and chicken ready to go. So there's that. Um, I'm going to put these away. Uh, this is going to go in the fridge. The chicken is going to go in the fridge because I'm going to be cooking them for canning. These I'm going to bust down and freeze. So, all right, guys, we'll be back with the next round of stuff. All right, guys, next round of stuff I got. Yes, that is lettuce, you see. Why do I have lettuce? Because we've eaten everything I've grown. I grew lettuce for three months straight. We had homegrown lettuce. It was awesome. Next year, I'm going to go out of my way to make sure that I have enough lettuce. And I'm going to be planting lettuce all season and make sure we have lettuce all summer and all growing season. But the fact that I got three months worth of lettuce, I'm happy. So this is the first lettuce I've bought in three months. This will last us about, hopefully, two weeks. We'll see. My family eats a lot of salads. My son especially. I think you guys have seen three or four videos. My son eats plain lettuce salads like it's candy. Next, I got eggs. We all know what eggs are for. Um, I got the big container of eggs. Not just because we want to eat them for breakfast, but because I want to make some egg salad sandwiches. And my daughter and my husband love deviled eggs. So I'm going to be making some of those. Then this is one of our favorite things we get at Costco. I don't know if you can get these everywhere, but I know here you can. They're our absolute favorite. They're golden platter, all natural chicken nuggets. They are so so good they have so much flavor to them um i just these are generally um when i'm in a hurry to make a dinner and i'm busy doing stuff and my kids want to eat mom we're hungry we want to eat in 20 minutes we don't want to wait for you to make a big dinner so i throw those in and make them um check your costco see if they have these these are the best chicken nuggets I've ever had. We love these. Um, next, we go through cheese like mad in my house. And I got these for only, they were on sale for $4.99 for a two pound block. So I grabbed two of them. I couldn't pass them up. Generally, I pay six for them. They were $4.99. I had, well, I paid $6.99 for them. They were $4.99 this time. So I got two of them just never hurts to have cheese around um next and you guys have seen this before my son loves to eat plain old cheese string cheese is one of his absolute favorites i pay 6.99 for a giant 60 pack so and this will last my son about three weeks i can never get a month out of these um, every chance and every opportunity he has, even if he's not supposed to, he will go in the fridge and sneak one and run off with one. And I will find string cheese wrappers stuffed in the side of his chair. That is so fun. Go to clean his room. And, I mean, my son is spotless for the most part, except his chair. He's always got clothes on his one chair or junk on his chair or string cheese packet shoved down in the side of his chair cushion so and i try to limit him to two a day which would give me a full month as you can see however like i said i'm probably only going to get about three weeks out of these because every chance he has to steal an extra string cheese he does that's why i buy the big one and then of course gotta have yourself some good old plain old mixed vegetables so I always buy a big bag of them whenever we go shopping at Costco these this is only gonna last maybe two weeks so because we eat a lot of vegetables in my house um, that's it for this round let me pull out the next stuff I've only got a few other things to show you guys we'll be back this next clip is really short um, this is just the milk. I got two gallons of milk. 
Oh, I grabbed the wrong stuff. I grabbed the homogenized rather than the vitamin D. Oops, mommy. But that's okay. Um, what I will do is I will pour some of this out. Um, I'll put some of it in a half gallon jar. And then I'll freeze the other part of the milk. Um, there's nothing wrong. You can freeze milk. It unfreezes just fine. You just got to make sure that as the milk is defrosting, you shake it up really good. So you remix it. Otherwise, you get the separation um, of the thicker, creamier stuff. And then the watery milk on the bottom. Uh, it doesn't taste bad. It's just it tastes better when you mix it all up. So, so what I do, I put, I'll empty part of these out and then freeze them. Um, in my one video, how to freeze in mason jars, I talk about milk. Milk is one of the number one things that expands the most. So you've got to make sure that you give it plenty, plenty of room. I will be taking about a quarter of each of the gallons out and it'll come once it goes in the freezer and freezes. It'll almost expand all the way back up to that gallon, even if I take a quarter of a gallon out. So, yeah, remember that. Milk expands the most. So, there we go. I got more to show you guys. Alright, guys, here is the last of it. Um, first thing is the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Now, I got that on sale, too. Hang on a second. That was only $6.99 this time. I know I pay more for it, but I'm not sure if I pay $7 or $8.99. Um, I don't get it too often. Um, cereal in our house is not a breakfast. It's a snack. Um, so my kids have it for snack. So I don't always pay attention to the exact price when I buy the double boxes at Costco. But I do know that it was on sale. So my kids got themselves a twin pack of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And then I got myself these artisan rolls. Because I am going to be making burgers. And I'm going to try and I'm going to make those um, White Castle like slider burgers again. Because we really enjoyed those White Castle slider burgers. So I'll be making more of those. So I got the artisan, the square artisan bread for that. And when I cook my burgers down that I've pre-made, they cook down small enough that they'll fit on this square artisan bread. Then I got pretzel slider buns. Now with the pretzel buns, um, they're just for snacking. I don't use them to make anything. Other than letting my husband and children snack on them. They absolutely love pretzel bread, pretzel flavor. So we like to get the pretzel buns at Costco. Um, they're one of their favorite snacks. Um, I really enjoy it. All they have to do is slice it in half. Put peanut butter or honey or jelly or anything on it. And they've got themselves a good little snack really quick. And then we were running low on Miracle Whip, and this was on sale. I got a double pack, for, I think it was $5.99, $5.89 for a double pack. I mean, you can't pass that up. So, yay, double pack of Miracle Whip. Um, generally, I pay like, I think it's like $3.89 or $4.19 per thing. Even at the Walmart here in town. So when I got them for $5.89 for a double pack, I had to grab one. And then, because it's summer, because it's hot and muggy and icky here in the Red River Valley, I don't bake bread in the summer, so I buy bread. And we love the cottage bread. This is one of my family's favorites. I got um, two double packs of the cottage bread and... I believe the cottage bread is really cheap. $3.99 for a double pack of cottage bread. Um, I know for a fact I pay $3.19 per cottage bread at Walmart. And three, I believe it's either $3.39 or $3.49 per single at the grocery store just down the street from us. So to get a double pack for $3.99, I had to grab two of them. So... There we go.
And when I had said earlier that my total came to $185, I was wrong. Um, that 185 was because my husband had gotten $20 cash back so we could eat at the Costco Deli. It actually cost me 160 Can this? Yep, there we go. 165.58 for all of that. I got like, um, I think it was 25 pounds of meat, and then everything else you saw for 165 dollars. I love Costco. So. There we go. Thanks for coming along. Look for videos on my canning of the chicken and the pork chops. And we'll see you guys in the next one. And remember everyone, stay positive. Bye.